Hi, today I'm going to introduce you to a network scanner. I've been using it for years, it's very reliable, always ready to go, and it's very light on your computer resources. Once you install this software, I'll show you what happens if you have installed it incorrectly, or if you don't have it installed at all. So it's run through command prompt, so you open it up, and you type in thing, F-I-N-G. So if you don't have it installed properly, or you haven't got it at all, that's the error you'll get. So go ahead and open your web browser, and up the top, browse to thing.com. Now you can go and download the consumer product, so if you go to consumer thing desktop, so this is a piece of software that they give you. You have to have an account with them and it gives you a few more um, features, health reports on your network, internet outages, stuff like that. Now I don't need that and I won't be showing you that side. I just need a very simple network scanner. And honestly, I haven't really used that software. So up the top, if you go to business solutions, and then developer tools then you scroll down and what we want is number three command line tool so you continue to scroll down so you do have all these other tools if you're into that so what we want is the embedded CLI that's what we want so if you download the Windows one or if you've got a Mac and you know download your respective um, operating system so I've obviously got a Windows. That will start your download. Once you download, open up the folder and unzip the file. If you're getting value out of this video, just smash that like button. It really helps me out. So once the folder unzips, open it up and run the exe file. Do you want to make changes? Yes. Hit next. After you read all that, hit I agree. Make sure you've got the add thing to the system path for all users selected, as that'll make it a lot easier for you to use it later on when I show you. So hit next, then hit next. Unless you need to change the install path, then hit install. While it's installing, you'll also need to install WinPCAT. It's also included in the Fing install package, so no need to download it separately. So hit I agree, then next. And just make sure the two boxes are ticked so you know the Win Pickup service starts automatically. So you hit next, finish, finish, and you're done. And we're also done with these windows, so we close them in the web browser too. So go to start, type in CMD, and open up the command prompt, and just type Fing, F-I-N-G. So once you type thing and then hit enter, it'll start scanning your network. So you'll be able to see all the IP addresses and the MAC addresses associated with those addresses and also host names if those devices have a host name. So the scan will keep going until it's scanned all your network and then it'll show you a table with a summary of all the devices, which is really helpful. And it'll periodically scan. So if you leave this running, it'll keep scanning over and over again. To stop it from scanning, you have to hit Control C. Now I do prefer this scanner over many other scanners that I've used, like Angry IP Scanner, Advanced IP Scanner, and a few others. I just found with Angry IP Scanner, for example, you do a scan and it misses the MAC addresses or the host names, and then you gotta redo it again. And it's just a bit annoying. With this scanner, everyone's got access to Command Prompt on their Windows computer. They just open up command prompt, type in thing, and off the scan goes. If you got value out of this video, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Really helps me out. Just one more tip. If you're looking for a particular MAC address like I do a lot, and you can't find it because you've got hundreds of devices on your network, hit Control F. This will open up the Find tool, which I'll move over there. So usually I just look for the last two digits of the MAC address, so colon, and 9c for example if i hit find it'll automatically search for it and it makes it a lot quicker not to mention you can highlight the whole table copy it onto a notepad or word and keep it for your networking records so just one last time we want to open up the command prompt type thing and off the scan goes
Thank you for watching guys, hopefully you can like, subscribe and share. I do enjoy making these videos for you guys, every like, donation and subscription makes me feel a lot better and it keeps encouraging me to keep making more videos for you guys. Thank you for watching, take care.